Greetings from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Thursday, October 15. This is an update on the 1949 13 and a half foot Lyman Leader. We have finished fairing from the gunnels to the keel. The new keel is installed. We have primer on both the below waterline surface and the above waterline surface. This boat will end up being uniformly white above and below the waterline with the difference being that above the waterline we will be using Interlux Premium Yacht Enamel in semi-gloss white and below the waterline we will be using a uh, Pettit white bottom paint. Our next step before we begin painting the bottom is to install the new keel which we will see shortly and what you can see is the uh, the new transom knee that has been installed this is a, a very strong fastening system. The uh, aft end of the keelson, which is right here, is screwed through the sides into the knee. The knee actually lands on the top side of the new keel. So the brace will be fastened here through the keel and keelson. I think we're using uh, 14 by uh, 4 inch uh, silicon bronze flathead uh, screws for some tips. And then once the new keel bracing is in place, what we have here is just a, just a uh, temporary brace to keep the, the hull true. There'll be three more fasteners that start outside the keel, pass through the keel framing and into the knee on the other side. This is an extremely strong uh, design and structure. The inside has been preliminarily scraped and is pretty much ready for the bilge paint we will apply. Everything that is going to be finished bright has been stripped and then aggressively uh, worked on to withdraw every speck of remaining stain. We released the splash rails and installed them bedded in 3M5200 we do this so that water can't get behind them. We've seen so many uh, vessels come in with seemingly perfect uh, splash rails until you release them and you discover they're absolutely uniformly black and rotted on the face that uh, lands on the top sides. Continuing in this direction, past the 25 foot Lyman sleeper. We have the land of parts and varnish. So looking first we see the keel, we see seating components, interior components. We have, uh, uh, if I remember correctly, we have three coats of varnish on these elements so far. Uh, the undersides of the seating components and the other uh, components of the interior of the, of the boat uh, will be finished in Lyman Santan bilge paint as is proper and appropriate because that's how they came from the factory. But of course, after staining them and before applying varnish, every piece of wood you see here was treated with full coats of Smith's uh, 
penetrating epoxy sealer. They were then sanded ever so lightly. That sealer just provides incredible teeth to the varnish. So, in another week, Ninny Fish should begin looking like herself again. Thank you so much from Snake Mountain Boatworks. Bye bye for now.